So how weird of it is when you win a shootout, but your season comes to an end? Yeah, I mean, we, we knew what we needed out of today, and it was three points, and obviously disappointing not to be able to get that. Um, and the shootout sort of is what it is, and yeah, I think we already knew at that stage that that three points was vital. Uh, did you, had, had it gotten out onto the field that you didn't, weren't going to make it regardless um, of the well? I don't think it fully got onto the field, but you can just tell by demeanour of maybe fans and your teammates and that. But obviously, just disappointed that we weren't able to do better in 90 minutes. I mean, one-one, just yeah, tough way to end. But just have to have to move on and look forward to next season. Can you kind of? Um, I know it's difficult. I appreciate it's difficult right after the result, but can you summarize what this year? means to this club, you know, from a larger context like in terms of the strides made? Yeah, obviously it was a big step in the right direction for the club. Um, obviously there been some ups and downs and a lot of new stuff happening, which is, that's, that's what you expect going into a new league and building a new team, but there's been some, some great moments as well. I keep going back to obviously the disappointment of what we're feeling now as a team and how those little margins throughout the season where we've conceded late goals or drawn games we probably shouldn't have. It's ultimately cost us at this point now. And yeah, but it's been a great season for the club and it's been great to see the fans turn up home, home and away. Um, that's, that's massive for us as players and as always the club is, is going in the right direction. This season has been, like you said, a bit of a roller coaster. The last few weeks have been a really roller coaster. Mm -hmm. How have you and the team been able to go through the waves that were changing manager, winning the game in, on the road, and then here? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody's dealt with it pretty well. It's, um, it's been good. It's been, I feel like the lads were in a, a decent place and training's been fairly consistent and everybody's been pushing each other and that's, that's all you can ask for. Everybody's been looking forward and, again, knew what we needed out of today and it's just a shame to fall at the last hurdle like we did. How tough is the finality of a game like this and you're maybe going to play for three more weeks and, and all of a sudden guys are going to go their separate ways in a few days? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough because you spend every day together and you feel like we do have the, the ability here to definitely progress into the playoffs. So that's tough, tough pill to swallow. But um, no, it, it's difficult. And again, preseason normally comes around pretty quickly, but... Like you said, not everybody's going to be here. You never know what's happening with coaching staff at this point. So it's just, yeah, a lot happening. But I've definitely enjoyed my time with this current group of lads. And we'll see what happens next year. You knew this was going to be a season of adjustment moving to a new league. Ultimately, you've got a strong finish for one. But how much do you think that's going to help be a motivating factor for this club in the future? Yeah, I think it has to be. Um, Going into the, the season, obviously you, you're not too sure what to expect, but I think the club's done done a good job of almost increasing every area of the um, just the workload in general, like the front office and tickets. Everything has been a big shift from the last few seasons that I've even seen. So like I say credit to the club for, for taking on a lot, and I think more than holding its own in, in this league and at, at some point proving... How, how you can do things properly and how you can do things as an independent team. So I think CFC is always going to be going the right way and I mean it motivates you as a player, especially to fall at a, another hurdle. You, you, you want to be back up and, and running again as soon as possible. So yeah, it definitely gives me motivation to look forward to next year. Um, and yeah, definitely want to see some success in, in Chattanooga while I'm here. Over 4,000 were here today. You did mention the fans earlier, but what would be your message to them in, in this moment? I'd, I would just apologise probably for, like I said, the disappointment of the moment. And like I said, we, we stitched ourselves up a little bit throughout the season, conceding certain goals in certain games. But that's, that's football. It's credit to them no matter... How we're playing for the most part, they still turn up home and away and that's, that's massive for us as a player and me being here for a little bit of time now, you want to give back as much as you can and hopefully that's always my goal is, is how can you give back to the fans, how can you give back to the city and have a successful team here in Chattanooga.